a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Cory Booker Cory Anthony Booker is an American politician serving as the junior United States Senator from New Jersey since 2013 and a member of the Democratic Party. The first African-American U.S. Senator from New Jersey, he was previously the 36th Mayor of Newark from 2006 to 2013. Before that Booker served on the Newark City Council for the Central Ward from 1998 to 2002. Booker was born in Washington, D.C. and raised in Harrington Park, New Jersey. He attended Stanford University where he received an undergraduate and master's degree in 1991 and 1992, respectively. He studied abroad at the University of Oxford on a Rhodes Scholarship before attending Yale Law School. He won an upset victory for a seat on the Municipal Council of Newark in 1998 where he staged a 10-day hunger strike and briefly lived in a tent to draw attention to urban development issues in the city. He ran for mayor in 2002, but lost to incumbent Sharp James. He ran again in 2006 and won against Deputy Mayor Ronald Rice. His first term saw to the doubling of affordable housing under development and the reduction of the city budget deficit from $180 million to $73 million. He was re-elected in 2010. He ran against Steve Lohngan in the 2013 U.S. Senate special election and subsequently won re-election in 2014 against Jeff Bell. During his five years in office, Booker co-sponsored and voted for the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. Tougher sanctions against Iran sponsored the Bipartisan Budget Act, voted for the National Defense Authorization Act and co-sponsored the Respect for Marriage Act. In 2017, he became the first sitting senator to testify against another when he testified against Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions during his confirmation hearing. In April 2018, following the FBI raid on the offices of Michael Cohen U.S. President Donald Trump's personal attorney Booker together with Chris Coons, Lindsey Graham, and Tom Tillis, introduced the Special Counsel Independence and Integrity Act to limit the executive powers of Trump. His political ideology closely aligns with the New Democrat movement and he has been described as a political moderate. Considered a social liberal, Booker supports women's rights, affirmative action, same-sex marriage and single-payer healthcare. His youth, public presence, and political ideology have marked him as a potential member of multiple U.S. presidential tickets. When asked about his desire to run for executive roles in American government he has stated, Life is about purpose, not position, neither confirming nor denying potential runs for president. Early Life and Education Booker was born on April 27, 1969, in Washington, D.C., and grew up in Harrington Park, New Jersey, 20 miles north of Newark, New Jersey. His parents, Caroline Rose and Carrie Alfred Booker, were among the first black executives at IBM. Booker has stated that he was raised in a religious household, and that he and his family attended a small African Methodist Episcopal Church in New Jersey. Booker graduated from Northern Valley Regional High School at Old Tappan, where he played varsity football and was named to the 1986 USA Today All-USA High School football team. Booker went on to Stanford University, receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science in 1991 and a Master of Arts in Sociology the following year. While at Stanford, he played football as a tight end and was teammates with Brad Muster and Ed McCaffrey, and also made the All-Pacific 10 academic team and was elected senior class president. In addition, Booker ran the Bridge Peer Counseling Center, a student-run crisis hotline, and organized help from Stanford students for youth in East Palo Alto, California. After Stanford, Booker was awarded a Rhodes Scholarship to study at the University of Oxford where he earned an honors degree in United States history in 1994 as a member of the Queen's College. He earned his Juris Doctor in 1997 from Yale Law School, where he operated free legal clinics for low-income residents of New Haven, Connecticut. At Yale, Booker was a founding member of the Chai Society, was a big brother with Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, and was active in the National Black Law Students Association. Newark Municipal Council Contemplating advocacy work and a run for city council in Newark after graduation from law school, 
Booker lived in the city during his final year at Yale. After graduation, he served as staff attorney for the Urban Justice Center in New York and program coordinator of the New Youth Project. In 1998, Booker won an upset victory for a seat on the Municipal Council of Newark, defeating four-term incumbent George Branch. To draw attention to the problems of open-air drug dealing and associated violence, he went on a 10-day hunger strike and lived in a tent, and later in a motorhome near drug dealing areas of the city. Booker proposed council initiatives that impacted housing, young people, law and order, and the efficiency and transparency of City Hall, but was regularly outvoted by all of his fellow councillors. 2002 Election On January 9, 2002, Booker announced his campaign for mayor of Newark rather than running for re-election as councilman. This pitted him against longtime incumbent Sharp James. James who had easily won election four consecutive times, saw Booker as a real threat, and responded with mudslinging. At one campaign event calling him, a Republican who took money from the KKK, and, Taliban, who's, collaborating with the Jews to take over Newark. In the campaign, James's supporters questioned Booker's suburban background, calling him a carpetbagger who was, not black enough, to understand the city. Booker lost the election on May 14th garnering 47% of the vote to James as 53%. The election was chronicled in the Oscar-nominated documentary Street Fight. 2006 Election Booker announced on February 11, 2006, that he would again run for mayor. Although incumbent Mayor Sharp James filed paperwork to run for re-election, shortly thereafter he announced that he would instead cancel his bid to focus on his work as a state senator which he was originally elected to in 1999. At James's discretion, Deputy Mayor Ronald Rice decided to run as well. Booker's campaign outspent Rice's 25 to 1, for which Rice attacked him. In addition to raising over $6 million for the race, Booker attacked Rice as a political crony of James. Booker won the May 9th election with 72% of the vote. His slate of city council candidates, known as the Booker team, swept the council elections, giving Booker firm leadership of the city government. 2010 Election On April 3, 2010, Booker announced his campaign for re-election. At his announcement event, he remarked that a united government was crucial to progress. Knowing his supporters in the city council faced tough re-elections, heavily favored to win, Booker faced former judge and Essex County prosecutor Clifford J. Minor, as well as two minor candidates. On May 11, Booker won re-election with 59% of the vote, although two of his nine council candidates were defeated. Tenure Before taking office as mayor, Booker sued the James administration, seeking to terminate cut-rate land deals favoring two redevelopment agencies that had contributed to James's campaigns and listed James as a member of their advisory boards. Booker argued that the state's pay-to-play laws had been violated and that the land deals would cost the city more than $15 million in lost revenue. Specifically, Booker referenced a parcel at Broad and South Streets that would generate only $87,000 under the proposed land deals yet was valued at $3.7 million under then-current market rates. On June 20, 2006, Superior Court Judge Patricia Costello ruled in favor of Booker. In late June 2006, before Booker took office, New Jersey investigators foiled a plot to assassinate Booker led by Bloods gang leaders inside four New Jersey state prisons. The motive for the plot was unclear, but was described variously as a response to the acrimonious campaign and to Booker's campaign promises to take a harder line on crime. First Term Booker assumed office as mayor of Newark on July 1, 2006. After his first week in office, he announced a 100-day plan to implement reforms in Newark. The proposed changes included increasing police forces, ending background checks for many city jobs to help former offenders find employment in the city, refurbishing police stations, improving city services, and expanding summer youth programs. One of Booker's first priorities was to reduce the city's crime rate. In furtherance of this, he appointed Gary McCarthy, former Deputy Commissioner of Operations of the New York City Police Department, 
as director of the Newark Police Department. Crime reduction was such a central concern to the Booker administration that Booker, along with his security team, was known to personally patrol the streets of Newark until as late as 4 a.m. Booker as a member of the Mayors Against Illegal Guns Coalition, a bipartisan group with a stated goal of making the public safer by getting illegal guns off the streets. Booker was honored in October 2009 by the Brady Center to Prevent Gun Violence with the Sarah Brady Visionary Award for his work in reducing gun violence. During his mayoralty, crime dropped significantly in Newark, which led the nation in violent crime reduction from 2006 to 2008. March 2010 marked Newark's first murder-free month in over 44 years, although murder and overall crime rates began to rise again after 2008. In addition to his crime-lowering initiatives, Booker doubled the amount of affordable housing under development and quadrupled the amount under pre-development, and reduced the city budget deficit from $180 million to $73 million. After taking office, Booker voluntarily reduced his own salary twice, reducing his salary by 8% early in his first year as mayor. He also raised the salaries of many city workers. However, his administration imposed one-day-a-month furloughs for all non-uniformed employees from July through December 2010, as well as 2% pay cuts for managers and directors earning more than $100,000 a year. In 2008 and 2009 the City of Newark received the Government Finance Officers Association's Distinguished Budget Presentation Award. In an effort to make government more accessible, Booker held regular open office hours during which city residents can meet with him personally to discuss their concerns. In 2010, Booker was among the finalists for the World Mayor Prize, ultimately placing seventh. He was an unsuccessful candidate for the 2012 award. Second term On October 10, 2010, Booker established Let's Move, Newark as part of First Lady Michelle Obama's national Let's Move initiative against childhood obesity. In October 2011 he expanded the program to include Let's Move, Newark, Our Power, a four-month fitness challenge for Newark public school students run by public health advocate Jeff Alevi. Booker gained national attention when, on December 28, 2010, a constituent used Twitter to ask him to send someone to her father's house to shovel his driveway, because her elderly father was going to attempt to do it himself. Booker responded by tweeting, I will do it myself. Where does he live? Other people volunteered, including one person who offered his help on Twitter. And 20 minutes later Booker and some volunteers showed up and shoveled the man's driveway. On April 12, 2012, Booker saved a woman from a house fire, suffering smoke inhalation and second-degree burns on his hands in the process. Newark Fire Chief John Chentani said that Booker's actions possibly saved the woman's life. After Hurricane Sandy destroyed much of the shoreline areas of New Jersey and New York in late October 2012, Booker invited Newarkers without power to eat and sleep in his home. In February 2013, responding to a Twitter post, Booker helped a nervous constituent propose to his girlfriend. Booker rescued a dog from freezing temperatures in January 2013 and another dog that had been abandoned in a cage in July 2013. On November 20, 2012, a melee occurred at a New York City Council meeting attended by Booker. The nine-seat council was to vote on the successor to the seat vacated by newly elected U.S. Representative Donald M. Payne Jr. Booker's opponents on the council, including Ras Baraka, sought to appoint John Sharp James, son of the former mayor, while Booker and his supporters favored Shanique Spate. Booker attended the meeting to deal with the eventuality of the lack of a quorum or a tie vote in which state law would allow him to cast a deciding vote. After Baraka was refused an opportunity to address the council by acting council president Anibal Ramos Jr. Baraka, and two other council members walked away in protest, Booker cast the deciding vote for Spate. Supporters of James stormed the stage and were held back by riot police, who eventually used pepper spray on some members of the crowd. Baraka later blamed Booker for inciting the disturbance, while Booker refused comment to the media after the vote. In December 2012, after discussions with a constituent about New Jersey's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, Booker began a week-long challenge attempting to live on a food budget of $30 per week.
the amount SNAP recipients receive. When critics noted that the very name of the SNAP program shows that it is intended to supplement an individual's food budget, not be its sole source, Booker replied that his aim was to spark a discussion about the reality that many Americans rely solely on food stamps to survive. Newark Watershed the Newark watershed comprises 35,000 acres of reservoirs and water treatment systems for more than 500,000 customers in northern New Jersey, including Newark and neighboring Belleville, Elizabeth, Bloomfield, and Nutley. It is considered one of the city's greatest assets. A New Jersey State Controller report issued in February 2014 revealed irregularities and corruption within the Newark Watershed and Development Corporation which is in the process of being dismantled after being taken over by the city while on Booker's watch. Public Opinion Polling Throughout Booker's mayoralty, Fairleigh Dickinson University's Public Opinion Poll Public Mind asked New Jersey residents statewide whether or not they had heard of Mayor Booker and whether they had a favorable or unfavorable opinion of him. The results are as follows, September 2008, April 2009, May 2010, May 2012, January 2013, March 2014. Legacy Booker's mayoralty and personal celebrity drew much media attention to Newark. While he enjoyed high ratings from city residents, his legacy has received mixed reviews. During his tenure, millions of dollars were invested in downtown development but underemployment and high murder rates continue to characterize many of the city's neighborhoods. Despite legal challenges initiated during his term, Newark Public Schools has remained under control of the state for nearly 20 years. Newark received $32 million in emergency state aid in 2011 and 2012, requiring a memorandum of understanding between Newark and the state that obligates the city to request and the state to approve appointments to city hall administrative positions. While mayor of Newark, Booker claimed in an interview that Newark's unemployment rate had fallen by two percentage points. This statement was rated false by Politi Fact because he used data that had not been seasonally adjusted. The actual rate was 0.7 percentage points. 2013 election. On December 20, 2012, Booker announced that he would explore running for the U.S. Senate seat that was then occupied by Frank Lautenberg in the 2014 election, ending speculation that he would challenge Governor Chris Christie in the 2013 gubernatorial election. On January 11, 2013, Booker filed papers to form a campaign committee, without announcing whether or not he would run. Roughly one month after declaring his interest in running for the Senate, Incumbent Lautenberg announced that he would not seek re-election. On June 3, Lautenberg died of viral pneumonia. Five days later Booker announced his intention to run for Lautenberg's seat in the 2013 special election. Booker announced his candidacy at two events, one in Newark and the other in Willingbor. On August 13, 2013, Booker was declared the winner of the Democratic primary, with approximately 59% of the vote. On October 16, 2013, he defeated Republican Steve Longan in the general election 55% to 44%, making him the first African-American U.S. Senator from New Jersey and the first African-American to be elected to the Senate since Barack Obama in 2004. The night before his victory, Booker visited the gravesite of Rabbi Menachem M. Schneerson, where he offered his prayers and lit a vigil candle in memory of his father. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries would you like to know more?